What's up people? Today we are gonna be doing some renovation mods on the caravan. So I'm Dario. I'm Lexi. And we'll show you around what's happened and what we're gonna be doing. So I bought this caravan two years ago. It's a Sterling Atlas 2010. I actually bought it to uh, live in full time, just myself um, and my puppy at the time. Uh, it later on became uh, the home of two cats and a fully grown dog, myself, and now Dario. Um, I've already done a heck of a lot of uh, modifications to it to make it a much more of a, a livable space um, and I've knocked out a heck of a lot of stuff so it's looking a little bit rough but we're gonna start working on a little bit more of this sort of thing and make it looking good. So today we've been wanting to tackle this back wall for a while. We had a shelf set up, but we've decided to go with something a little bit different. Your turn. Um, so the idea today, instead of having the one shelf across, we're actually going to build the shelves up in the corners, maybe hopefully three high, uh, with a nice centerpiece in the middle. Repaint it, obviously. Um, put a headboard up which uh, I'm going to be repolstering and go from there and see how it looks. Cool. Add in B-roll. Okay, so we've come across a dilemma here. Dario, care to explain? Just we measured it from this end, and now if we want to correct this angle, which is wrong, it's gonna cut a piece off the end, which isn't the worst thing in the world. It just means that this one would be slightly shorter than the rest, which is the worst thing in the world. So we can't do that. So Dario and I have this little debate going on. I've lived in this caravan for about two years. He's been here about two months. I'm saying, don't get it perfect. These angles don't need to be perfect. It's a caravan. It moves. Nothing here is level. Nothing here is straight. Just good enough is good enough. If you can make it as perfect as you can, why not? At least for the time being. As opposed to just shoving filler in it later. It's gonna need a filler anyway. It all moves. Totally didn't mess up the measuring or anything. We're getting there. We don't do that. Slowly but surely. So we got it roughly measured. Time to just do the first cut and see if it fits. Might take some adjustment, but who knows? We will see. Doing the final test fit, seeing if we're happy, and then staining, painting, and more stuff. Okay, so a bunch of cutting later, and we've been sanding and trying to fit it, and after many, many attempts, we've got it slightly, roughly fitting. It's not gonna be perfect. The back bit is curved, and all the three bits are different, so I've got it as close as I can, and I'm frustrated, but we're going with it. I told you so. Right, they're not perfect, but as I was saying, they're never going to be perfect because it's a caravan. So I reckon they are fine as they are, so the next stage is to fully sand them, put the new stain on, let them dry, go buy some paint and get this wall painted. Oh, look, shucks. Shucks all right. Look at them. Mwah! You've missed it. We got some staining done, it's gonna dry. We need some paint, we need some ornaments, we need some art, so we gotta go out. And lunch. You can't Definitely forget lunch. Definitely lunch. Definitely lunch. Okay. 
So we got everything we need, we're back, doing some prep work and then gonna call it and continue in the morning. Cause food and wine. Basically. <laughs> Not a profound thought. Damn. Coming from this human being? No profound thoughts right now. Just go. You gonna talk? No. <laughs> Day two. This is how we start our days. Including for Gage. Hey boy, come here, come here, come here. So Alexi's gonna get on with the painting and I'm gonna finish up with the shelves, drill the pilot holes and do the ceiling of them. And we've just seen, she's got a trick that I've never seen before and is genius. It's common sense, man. We want these to be invisible, so they have to go through like this. So we found a bit of art that we think will work. Now we're just waiting on dry times. I love painting. That's it's surprising. One of my favorite pastimes. Very repetitive for me. But then now we can put the shelves up and everything can start coming together.
<laughs> well, this thing kind of came together pretty randomly, to be honest. We didn't really have a plan. We knew shelves. We knew some kind of art thing in the middle. I think we both had green from plants in the idea, as the idea for, other than that. I think the main focus really was a shelf for my cup of tea, so I can have my <laughs> cup of tea at night. Practicality. Within, within reach. <laughs> or a glass of wine. There was a severe lacking of shelving. There was a tiny little triangle corner and this thing which I could barely fit my water bottle and my phone on. And it was also the first step in many steps to making this feel, how do you put it? The caravan? More homely or Homely something? and cozy. Living in a caravan full time comes with its many trials and tribulations. And we're excited for the next things that are going to come as well because the whole thing is going to be transformed. We've been talking about what we're going to do to it many times mm. at this point and this is just the first step in many. Thanks for watching guys. There will be more coming. Hit that subscribe button. Or don't. You know, up to you. Watch us hunt, ride motorcycles, motorbike projects. You'll see. You'll just see what's coming. Hit like as well. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>